What's up guys, Jack of all trade here. Uh, today we're going to replace the uh, brake pads here. Okay, we have the brake pads here. This is uh, CarQuest. It's gold premium brake pads. This is a ceramic. So uh, we're going to uh, replace the uh, brake pads. So, okay. all right so i'm replacing it look at that there it's scraping i just hear it yesterday and then i never find i never see that it's already you know no more uh uh brake pads on it it's already metal to metal so now i'm going to replace that okay all right guys so right there gone that's it this is the here right over here and you can see right there that's why here yesterday just like a, a scratching like a metal thing you know so only that side but this one look at that it's still good but you know i'm just gonna replace with a newer one right there it's a car quest gold uh, ceramic so this is the first time that i need to replace this uh car because uh, normally i replace uh brake pads to uh, different cars but in this car this is the first time so now i just find out this yesterday and then when i look this is what i hear i thought something wrong it was here on my ladder on the top that i was hearing so but this one is the one that i heard yesterday all right guys when you're doing this thing because these are uh, you know different uh piston so you're going to use uh, uh you know this kind of uh tools to push that and then you're gonna open up the bleeders down over here so that it will easier you to push that piston back there so that you can put the new uh, uh, the, the, the uh, brake pads so you need one of these when you're doing this kind of job because every uh, piston is different every car so this is different this is uh, like a you need to turn that so that you can push all the way down there all right guys we put the new clips so we replace all the old one so yep clips easier to put it in and then next one is your brake pads to put it in that's the next one okay you just put that thing in there and you're good to go and the good thing this one is not even really deep enough that it was scraped but it's still really good so yep no it's the only one here on this side all good i don't want to change that rotors i just be okay all right guys we already put everything back so we're just gonna put the uh tires we need to uh do the front also two of there so right now we're going to uh put it back everything and we're going to torque this for uh 100 foot pounds to uh, put it back all the lug nuts all right guys we're just gonna put it back everything <laughs> wrench to uh, measure it it's gonna be 100 foot pound all right guys we already put this one to a uh, 100 foot pound right there so we're going to measure this put pound for everything all right when you're doing some brakes you always need to have one of these it's very useful when you're pressing your uh, piston all the way inside or else if you don't have this thing you're gonna you know it's gonna be it's really really hard to do, to do it if you don't have it so you need to have this uh, this brake uh, pad uh, caliper service tool kit right there very cheap one just put it from uh, Harbor Pret it works really good fine you know instead of buying expensive one from the other uh, stores all right okay so tomorrow we're gonna get it done the front 
and uh, the front is a little bit more different so okay all right guys so we're gonna start re removing here in the front we did already on the back so now we're gonna do here on the front replacing the uh, the brake pads so so you're gonna need the jack you know safety measure you need to always have the jack stand when you're removing that okay now we're gonna remove that all right we already removed it the tires so when you're working on something like this even though you have a jack stand you always need to put uh, tires on the bottom there just uh, for a safety measure you know this jack don't depend on those things because if this thing blown away over here the gasket it will fall down so that's why you always need to have a jack stand or put the tires on the bottom on there okay now we're going to remove this so very easy to remove this thing more easier to remove uh replace the uh the uh, brake pads than in the back this one here you just only remove these two bolts over here the uh, uh 13 millimeter over here you just remove this thing out and you're all good to go just put it in the uh the brake pads you're all set with that okay two bolts 30 millimeter now you're gonna open up the bleeder down over here so that it's more easier for you to uh, press that uh, piston to make it there. Press it so that you can remove it easy. The uh, cover right here. Okay. So right now we still uh, the uh, piston is up, so we need to push them down over there. So that's why we, we are doing this thing here. And then we're gonna remove that all right so you're all good you just push a little bit this thing and then you're good to go all right and you can remove that right away easy all right we already removed the caliper so we're just gonna push uh push the piston and then we're going to replace this and we're gonna put a new one there it's still really good you can see that <laughs> But anyway, we just gotta replace it, all of it. Uh, yeah, yep, still really good. Okay, now we're gonna push this thing. You always need to have the caliper uh, tools like this, so you can push them all the way in the back there. And then if you're hard uh, pushing this thing, you need to open up the bleeder, so it's more easier to push them all the way in the back. All right, as you can see, when you turn this thing, it's pushing it right there. See that? It's moving all the way in the back yeah very easy so that's what you need to do you always need to have this kind of tools all right as you can see the one over there is already pushed and this one here we still need to push because it's all the way up right here all right so that's all push so right now we're gonna clean a little bit degreaser i mean a uh, brake cleaner it then we can put it the uh the discs the brake pads right there done one more put the other one on the other side done there you go then you can put this thing in and you're all set all right we already put it in very easy change like i said 13 mil 13 millimeter just put it in Tight them up and you're all set with that. All right, final touch, clean up a little bit. All set. All right, we're all done. We just gotta put it back, everything. And then we are going to torque with.
with 100 foot pounds. Nope. Next one. Yep, all set. All good to go. Now we're going to put some brake fluid on the uh, uh, tank on the top, the reserve. Okay, right now we need to add some. Okay, over here, I think we're all good it good in here so we're just gonna pop that uh brake so that it will go push down all the way at the bottom okay we'll check that thing out right there even able play overflow when we push that piston all right when we push the brake down there it went all the way a little bit down there so now all the uh, line is filled up with uh brake fluid so now we're gonna add it a little bit uh, because before we went up all the way here on the top because when we push those two uh, the four piston it went up all the way on the top so yeah but just only a little bit to add it right there everything is all good all right guys we already test drive this we already uh, try the uh, brakes we went around so now we're going to check the uh, brake fluid down over here and all good still on max right there so that is perfect yep we test the uh, brake so first thing you need to do before you're going to uh, drive outside you know like around so you need to drive only around here in the area where is uh, no uh, cars around it or any people around it so yeah that's how you uh, replace your uh, brake uh, pads on this uh, 2008 uh, Ford Taurus X limited yeah so so very easy for uh, to change a uh, uh, brake pads. Any car is gonna be more easy. It's better than uh, replacing uh, those uh, with the uh, brake drums. They are really, really more harder to replace because I did a lot of them before when I used to uh, uh, fixing uh, Isuzu trucks, stuff like that. Those are like uh, uh, brake drums, so it's more harder, yeah. Alright guys, so this is Jacob Trade. Thank you again for watching. You have a nice day and you have a blessed day. Thank, thank you.